Welcome to our YouTube video where we will be discussing the top commodity ETFs. Commodity ETFs have become increasingly popular among investors who are looking to diversify their portfolio and gain exposure to the commodity markets. These ETFs allow investors to easily invest in a basket of commodities, such as gold, oil, and agricultural products, without having to purchase the underlying assets themselves. In this video, we will be highlighting some of the top commodity ETFs based on their performance, cost, and other important factors. Whether you are a seasoned investor or new to the world of commodities, this video will provide valuable insights into the world of commodity ETFs. So, let's dive in. Real quick, before we get into that, I want to talk about my favorite investing newsletter, which is the Insider Newsletter. I've reviewed over 100 stock picking services, and Insider Newsletter is one of the few that actually beats the market. Overall, it's performed the best for me. The best part is it's only $1 to try, and you get nearly 20 stock recommendations per month. This is way more than any other service. There's a link under this video that will take you to the Insider Newsletter. Click on it and check it out. The United States Oil Fund, or USO, is an exchange traded fund, ETF, that seeks to track the price of West Texas Intermediate, WTI, light, sweet crude oil. USO provides investors with an easy way to invest in crude oil without having to purchase the physical commodity itself. The fund achieves its objective by holding near month futures contracts for WTI crude oil, which means that it is exposed to the risks associated with futures trading, such as contango or backwardation. USO is one of the most actively traded commodity ETFs and is a popular choice among investors who want to gain exposure to the oil market. The fund has a low expense ratio and is traded on major stock exchanges, making it easily accessible to investors. However, it is important to note that USO is not a direct investment in oil and is subject to the risks associated with commodity futures trading. The United States Copper Index Fund, or CPER, is an exchange-traded fund, ETF, that seeks to track the performance of copper futures contracts. Copper is an important industrial metal that is used in a variety of applications, such as construction, electronics, and transportation. As a result, CPER provides investors with exposure to the global copper market and can be used as a tool to diversify a portfolio. CPER tracks the Summerhaven Copper Index total return, which is designed to reflect the performance of a portfolio of copper futures contracts. The fund invests primarily in copper futures contracts listed on the New York Mercantile Exchange, NYMEX, and is designed to roll its exposure to the next available futures contract as each contract nears expiration. CPER has a low expense ratio and is traded on major stock exchanges, making it easily accessible to investors. SPDR Gold Shares, or GLD, is an exchange-traded fund, ETF, that tracks the performance of the price of gold bullion. The fund is designed to provide investors with a cost-effective and convenient way to invest in gold, which is often used as a hedge against inflation and currency fluctuations. GLD is one of the largest and most actively traded gold ETFs, with assets under management of over $50 billion. GLD holds physical gold bullion in secure vaults and is designed to reflect the performance of the price of gold, less the fund's expenses. The fund's expense ratio is relatively low compared to other gold ETFs and is traded on major stock exchanges, making it easily accessible to investors. As an investment in physical gold, GLD is subject to the risks associated with gold investing, including price fluctuations and geopolitical risks. However, GLD offers investors a convenient and liquid way to invest in gold without having to physically purchase and store the metal themselves. The Abadian Physical Platinum Shares ETF, or PPLT, is an exchange-traded fund, ETF, that provides investors with exposure to the price of physical platinum bullion. Platinum is a precious metal that is widely used in the automotive industry, jewelry making, and other industrial applications. As a result, PPLT can be used as a tool to diversify a portfolio and potentially hedge against inflation. PPLT holds physical platinum bullion in secure vaults and is designed to reflect the performance of the price of platinum, less the fund's expenses. The fund's expense ratio is relatively low compared to other platinum ETFs and is traded on major stock exchanges, making it easily accessible to investors. However, it is important to note that PPLT is subject to the risks associated with investing in physical commodities, including the potential for significant volatility and price fluctuations. In addition, the fund is exposed to risks associated with the physical storage and transportation of the platinum bullion.
The Chukrium Soybean Fund, or SOYB, is an exchange-traded fund, ETF, that seeks to provide investors with exposure to the price of soybeans. Soybeans are an important agricultural commodity that is widely used in the production of food, animal feed, and biofuels. As a result, SOYB can be used as a tool to diversify a portfolio and potentially benefit from the demand for soybeans. SOYB holds soybean futures contracts listed on the Chicago Board of Trade, CBOT, and is designed to reflect the performance of the price of soybeans, less the fund's expenses. The fund's expense ratio is relatively low compared to other agricultural commodity ETFs and is traded on major stock exchanges, making it easily accessible to investors. However, it is important to note that SOYB is subject to the risks associated with investing in commodity futures, including the potential for significant volatility and price fluctuations. In addition, the fund is exposed to risks associated with the futures trading, such as contango or backwardation. Once again, my favorite place to get stock picks is inside a newsletter. You can try this market beating newsletter for just $1 for 30 days and then it's only $35 per month after. Click the link under this video to check it out.